Hello everybody, I hope you're all well and welcome to another video. Today we've got another car related gadget to review. We know we like car related gadgets reviews on this channel. I always do my best if a company approaches me and I think is that something that's a bit cool? Is it convenient and practical? And I've already got one and already done a video on it. And this one was a bit like that would be quite useful to be fair. So yeah, let's have a look. This review video today is sponsored by a company called Yantu. They have sent, that's pretty cool looking packaging isn't it? I mean, I, I want them wheels. <laughs> they have sent a cordless uh, tire inflator. So I hate knowing, I think, I think I've got like a, I may have got like a, sl a slow leak as well on the tire par, one of the rear tires. Um, I hate having to plug it in somewhere in the car, whether it's in the boot or in the, um, in the cigarette light in the front. Uh, to, and then you've got to unravel it all and bring it all around. So I thought this will be useful for me and hopefully for some of you guys, if you like the look of, of something like this. But yeah, I'm going to unbox it first show you what it looks like. I've had a little look, but not a proper in-depth look, so we'll do that now. And then um, I feel like we're gonna put it to the test and pitch it against a traditional plug-in inflator, I think. Is traditional one gonna be more powerful? Is that gonna save the time compared to getting this out and damage plug it in? Who knows? But you will know, hopefully, by the end of this video. So yeah, let's get this bad boy out, let's have a look at. So then, let's have a gander. I don't know if you can see my socks. I'm just going to out myself before somebody does out me. They're adventure time socks. Grown ups can have fun, calm down. So we've got a bit of a quick start guide on here as well. How to connect it all up basically, which I'll go through these instructions when we're using it to, uh, to demonstrate it. It comes in a nice little carrier bag, which I always think is great. Um, when you've got something like this, because then that can sit in your boot like that. One, it doesn't look too conspicuous in your boot. Two, there's no cables or cords flying around. And three, it keeps it in good condition. So, in one side we've got all your cables. So, you have got a plug-in uh, uh, if you need it. I'm guessing that could be if you wanted to charge it in the car as well. That's the, the other, I'm guessing the other charger cable but that's to charge it via um, USB-C, which is quite convenient. And the other cool thing is, I think this can actually charge other devices if you needed to, if you were, if you were caught in, in a bit of a pickle. Um, you've got all your adapters, so you don't just have to use it on your car, you can use it on a football, you can use it on all sorts. Air bed, I'm guessing, I don't know what that nozzle is, but yeah. And you've got your user manual, basically. So yeah, spin that back round. Just move these out of the way for now. You've got the main device in here, which is a bit of a tight squeeze, I will say, with the with the case. So that could hinder your time. But ah, there's a piece of foam there. Let's get rid of that. It's nice and padded on the front as well. And we'll get rid of this. But this is the unit itself. Pretty cool looking thing. It looks to me like um, a Bluetooth speaker. Really nice. We're gonna do that satisfying thing of uh, removing. Oh, I can't believe it's got one of these all the way across it. Are we ready? I'm gonna be quiet so you can have a listen. Oh, it's making no sound anyway, but just take that in. Oh, what a joy that was. Uh, <laughs> I'm a simple man. Um, so that's your user interface that's on there. You've got the other equipment details. Does that come off as well? Yeah, that doesn't come off. That's the actual main sticker for the, for the details. But yeah, so that's the unit itself. So we'll get that out of the way. A few buttons on here to, to deal with. So let's find out what they are. That is for your um, actual air to come out of through the valve. You've got your power supply uh, to go into there if you were to plug it in. And you've also got your USB-C there, ready to use. Uh, and I'm guessing, oh, that's the on button, or it checks things. Whoa, I don't know. Oh, it clicks and then it's on. Whoa, we're on. Look at that screen. That's cool. So that's currently set to PSI, just how I like it. 
So I've just had a little bit of a play around with it and a look at the instructions. This doesn't even need screwing on. It's a, I forgot what it's called, it's like a pressure fit valve, which you get them a lot with bike pumps. And that just connects like that, clamps in place. That's ready to go, basically. So there's no threading any pipes that are feeding any air at all. They're all just pressure fit like that. So you do, that's traditional, your traditional valve type there. And then same again on, on, on the car. Obviously, you've got adapters if you want to change it up uh, for if, you're not, if it's not the same traditional connection. Uh, but yeah, that's pretty cool and a lot quicker than, uh, than threading everything on. In terms of the functionality and the display, with that being on there, so you've got different modes that this has. So we'll go back to the beginning. You've got one mode which is SUV mode. That's the one that it comes up as a standard. Um, obviously, if you talk about other countries as well, it's quite a common, well even in the UK, everybody likes a big car. So yeah, that's your most common one. And then you can set your PSI, I have it set to PSI at the minute, uh, to whatever you want it to be and it will save it on that setting as that PSI. So if I go to the next one, which with this, uh, with the R, you've got custom one, custom two and custom three. So I've just put custom one to 32 PSI because I think that's what it roughly is um, on a standard hatchback. I'll just double check with the with the Jazz because that's the car that we're going to be using today. And that will then, when I turn this off and turn it back on, that will be the preset ready to go basically. So it has a memory of anything that you set it to previously before you turn it off and turn it back on again. You've also got the button down here that cycles through what type of pressure measurement it is. You've got bar, PSI. KPA, I'm, call me dumb, but I don't actually know what that is. But yeah, we're gonna stick with PSI. So you've got the plus and the minus for setting your PSI. Goes up in half an increment, so that's quite good. And you've got your play button to start it. I don't know if it'll work without it actually being like vacuum pressurized or something. Yeah, it does. That absolutely terrified me. Uh, but the, <laughs> and the pause button stopped it. God, I felt the air coming through here then. Flipping heck. And then you've got your three bars there, which I think is your battery level. So you charge it with the USB. Um, I'm not sure if it can actually charge other items. Should we see if it goes the other way? Let's have a look. And it can't go the other way because there's no USB in, obviously. Yeah, so that is just a charge port then. Um, so it's not like a portable ba battery bank. Uh, like I thought it was. Picked it up a bit too much there. Uh, but yeah, I'm gonna turn it off, save the battery, and we're gonna give it a test against a traditional inflator. So the pump that we're pitching the Antu up against today is this traditional, analog actually, ring. Not a doorbell, it's a ring inflator. So all good, all reliable, plug-in type, turn it on, watch it go, turn it off when you think it's right. And uh, we're just gonna see what we can do. See if this is as quick or slower than this new wireless cordless should I say method so yeah I'm gonna try and I feel like when you've got when, when you when you put in a valve on there so when you put in the f air feed on there it always lets a bit of air out so I'm gonna try and use that to try and get it down to a certain PSI roughly let's just say 25 and then we'll time how long it takes to get it to 30 let's go with starting from it being in the boot ready to go, well, ready to grab, and then um, get it all hooked up and, and pumping it up. So let's see how we go, and we'll start with the ring first. Now I'm actually using the Yantu to set the initial PSI. So you can see that there, it's bang on 25 PSI. I'm gonna remove this now in the same method both ways, so it should be as equal as possible. So I'm gonna release and pull off straight away like that probably shouldn't have pulled with that lever but we've done it now so it'll be the same method for both times obviously that's at zero now so we'll turn that off and i'm also to take my user error out of the equation for both of them i'm going to leave this off because depending on how fast i am at undoing that it can skew the results so um it's something that has to happen in both instances so i'm just going to eliminate that user error basically and uh, do it without the valve cover. As well, don't shame me with my long grass. It needs cutting, I understand that, I'm a scrubber. 
Right then, so I'm going to use a stopwatch on my phone, which is a a YouTube video that I found. This is a stopwatch. So then my screen's not gonna go off basically. Oh well it nearly did it nearly did then because the video's not playing, but yeah. I'm gonna use that and then once that's playing it'll be ready for me to press to stop it again and leave that next to you guys down here. So it's in the boot, ready to go. I'll press go. I've got my keys in my pocket, because obviously I'm gonna have to start the car to use that one as well. That's another downfall. And then when I think it's done, I'll not put anything back away. As soon as we get to the right PSI, I will come and stop the video, and that's what we're gonna do. So without further ado, let's do three, two, one. Oh, I'm nervous. Go. Okay. It's playing, I can see it playing. The ring one, it's gonna be sat in the back like that. Uh, we're gonna need to undo this. I don't want to get the end wet in the grass. Be open. Zing. Is that the end in? That. I don't know. Ah! Okay, forget like two seconds because the radio came on. Um, okay. Come on! Turning it on. Stop, stop, stop. Ooh. So one minute 30. That's the time that we need to beat. So let's see, let's see. Let's reset that, make a mental note, and we'll go again. So I realized what I should have done then is shown you the needle at 30 so you knew I weren't lying. You're gonna have to take my word for it. I've already unplugged it. And I've also already reset it back to 25 PSI. Um, to start again. So I'm sorry about that. Um, yeah, I don't wanna lie. Not gonna lie. Do what you will with that. <laughs> I wanna know, I wanna know genuinely which is best. The more I argue this case, the worse it's coming across, so I'm just gonna stop. So we reset, ready to go. I've taken the Yantu out of the um, carry case, just to make it a fair test, because obviously the other one doesn't have a carry case. It just is how it is, the, the ring uh, inflator. So that's out, I haven't connected the cable or anything, because that's part of the getting it ready to use. Yeah. We'll restart the, the timer in a second and see how quickly this one's going to be. Ready and go! So this should be a lot easier. Have a look. Dash that on there. Lock it in place. Dash that in there. Lock it in place. Turn it on. Uh, Oh my days, <laughs> 52 seconds. So <laughs> proof is literally in the pudding. Obviously the Antu one remembered exactly what PSI it was set at and just did that automatically from previously. You've also got the fact that you know that it's exactly the correct PSI that you're setting. So if you're somebody that's going to like a track day, this is probably your best bet to be fair. You could just set a PSI that you know you, that you, know you want it's easy to let out air out by just using the the locking nozzle open if you put it on the valve it just starts letting air out so it's nice and easy to use you can set all your psi's to exactly what you want them to be and it's quick and easy you don't need to use any petrol it's literally a win all right what are we seeing over here hey eh? what's that number zero zero and what's that first number there zero so that's a zero but what's that one can you see it? Zero. It's three, zero. 
Can you see the three? Green grass. Green grass. You want to play in the green grass? Well, you're in your pajamas. Green, and green. Ba ba ba. Can I come in, baby? And you've got no shoes on. So, are you going to wave? Do you want to wave at the camera and say hello? That's all you're getting. You say bye bye, red car. The grass. The grass. We can't go in the grass. Come go in the grass. No, I'm sorry. I'm sorry. No, you do not have to be sorry. Oh. No. No. Right, okay. Well, let's get you changed then, shall we? Green grass. Green grass. Okay, okay. Yeah, I will clarify. There is a three there. <laughs> so yeah, it stopped at 30 PSI on the dot. And that'd be that. So then, as a conclusion, in terms of cordless air compressors, are they worth it? Does it work? Yeah, I think so. I'll, prob I'll probably only use that from now on, to be honest. So um, yeah, thank you again to Yantu for giving me the opportunity to do this honest review on one. If you follow the link down below, you should be able to get one for yourself through Amazon as well so it's nice and easy hopefully fingers crossed at the time of filming I'm not 100% sure but I should have a discount code for you which should be below as well but yeah thank you guys for watching I hope you found it interesting and I thought it were a bit more interesting than just saying oh look this plugs in and pumps it up there you go I wanted to do a bit more of a comparison so you've got an actual reference to whether it's something you want to get or not if you're new to the channel and you've come through it from looking through for one of these um, so around the internet somewhere. Thank you for joining us. I hope you stick around. If you're somebody that's stuck with us for quite a while and uh, you just pop in and say hello because you do enjoy my videos, weirdly enough, um, I really appreciate that. I know I'm proper letting the side down today and I haven't got any merch on, but if you do look down below as well, there is a, um, a store, should be like a banner or something underneath where you can get a merchandise if you do want to, um, which greatly supports me, so I appreciate it. So if you could, please like and subscribe to the channel and click the little bell button if you want reminders when a fresh video does come on. I have been filming another video today which will be probably one of the easiest, it is the easiest install um, on something on, on something on the Type R that I got when I were at Bodnats. So that's going to be a, a nice little cool thing to, to chuck on the car. And hopefully I'll see you then. So until next time, like I always say, enjoy the rest of your day. Bye.